The Coonhound Collective Podcast is brought to you by CZ Welding and Custom Dog Boxes. Dog boxes built by hunters for hunters. Check these guys out today. This is your host, Jason Snurgrove, and I will be your guide as we journey down the road to pleasure hunt or hitting the long trail to those great cop hunts. This is the Coon Hound Collective. <laughs> The opinions and views of the guest on the Coonhound Collective is not necessarily the opinions and views of the Coonhound Collective or its affiliates. Welcome to the Coonhound Collective podcast today. Today we're going to be promoting a hunt that's going to be happening on August the 12th uh, on the Superior Kennel Club's Facebook page. If you've not joined the Kennel Club, I advise that you go over there and do do so. You're You're really going to want to watch this one. And uh, I think uh, I think these two guys are gonna gonna put on a good hunt and and a, and a good show today. I have hey guys, this is Jason with the Coonhound Collective Podcast. Hey, if you haven't heard, there's a new kennel club in town, Superior Kennel Club, SKC Superior Kennel Club on Facebook. will get you to their public page. It's twenty bucks a year. Cut out that RC Cola and Moon Pie one night. That's about what they cost nowadays. Pay your twenty bucks. You'll get added to the private page. You can see all the live hunts, and you can hunt for that 20 bucks. There's no other entry fees other than that. I think they're going to have some special hunts coming up that may have some entry fees, but for the everyday guy that wants to just hunt with their neighbor, the guy they hunt every night, it's 20 bucks. You get your hunt on their live. They, they build you an ad to put out for, between you and your guy. It's a great thing. Also, Pride Dog Food is sponsoring superior kennel club and conkeys outdoors those guys are really stepped up they're trying to help grow that pot for the youth and for the adults at the end of the year go over check them out see what's happening at superior kennel club skc superior kennel club on facebook morgan perkins and jason jason how do you say your last name swingle swingle yep swingle Okay. Um, Jason, won't you, uh, won't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, kind of where you're from and, and how you got into coon hunting and then, then we'll talk to Morgan. All right. Well, I've been hunting for not long with Morgan, about five or six years. Uh, got into it with a club that hunted a bunch of deer dogs and got into coon hunting. That's how I got into it. And I want no family thing. Um, uh, I hunt about a three, what's she, three year old, four year old. Just turned four year old Jip now, named Oakley. Okay. Well, Morgan, won't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, kind of how you got into in the coon hunting, and then we'll get in here about these dogs. Uh, Louisa, Virginia, and I started hunting with my ex father in law about seven years ago. Okay. And ha- have either one of y'all done done much competition hunt hunting? Uh, up to this point with your with your dogs that you have you are just pleasure hunting i've i've done a lot of competition with the squirrel dogs some with coon but jason i do a lot of ukc but mostly pkc hunts okay all right all right for the last two and a half years since she's been clicking i've been putting her into hunts okay well um jason won't you won't you start off go ahead and tell us about about the dog that you're, you're going to be hunting in this hunt on the 12th uh, kind of tell us um where she come from, what she's out of, and, uh, you know, kind of how she operates. All right. Mom and Daddy, I bought a puppy off of a man named Jimmy Chisholm. He got a bone dog directly on bone collector. We bought a puppy named Tilly off of it, and we had her tree in at uh, four months old, running tree in by herself. And being young and dumb, not know much, I put her out with the old dogs, and when the coon hit the ground, they got her instead of the uh, of the coon and killed her. Well, now I went back and bought her sister. And at a year and a half old, now I got Oakley. She was treeing and running by herself. And I think she she won one money hunt before she was a year old. At 11 months old, she won the money hunt. And then she a bunch of PKCs. And this, this year, she's won three EKC hunts and one high point hound. She's okay. up. She's a she's a real climbing dog. 
Okay. Real small, probably don't weigh no more than about 30 pounds. Okay. Okay. And um, you said she was out of a, a, a direct daughter of bone collector or son? Uh, son of bone collector and mom's out of track man named okay. Karma. Hey guys, this is Jason over at the Coonhound Collective Podcast. Is your dog box starting to get war? Maybe it's starting to get a little crack like mine is. Maybe you've just been thinking about it's time to upgrade to a, to a new box, but you've asked your buddies and you're just not real sure what direction to go in. Well, let me help you out here. Go check my friends out at CZ Welding and Fabrication Custom Doll Boxes and Aluminum Products on Facebook. You can check out all their custom work they do there and their designs that they do. If you don't see something that you don't exactly like there, reach out to Nathan at 540-810-5439, 540-810-5439, or send him a message through the Facebook page. I bet he can fix you up. Don't wait till fall to get that new doll box. Go ahead, get that doll box now. Get you uh, get you something looking good in the back of your truck that, that you can be proud of and that you can haul your dog around in comfort. Check my friends out at CZ Welding and Fabrication. You won't go wrong. Dog box is built by hunters for hunters. Get yours today. CZ Welding and Fabrication. Yeah, it sounds like a sounds like a pretty pretty nice little dog there. Um, Morgan, you, you're you're not hunting a hound, so won't you kind of tell us some details about about what you're hunting there? All right, I'm hunting a three year old cur from uh, I bought her from Leon Kirkpatrick. She's out of the Briar Mountain bud and lizard cross and the Briar, let's see, the it was the Sophie and Briar Mountain Judge was actually the cross. She's Briar Mountain top and bottom. Um I bought her from a fella in Indiana. She's one of the one of the few with her bloodline left. Um I haven't been hunting the dog very long. She uh I got her just to breed her, but Come to find out, she's okay. I mean, she uh, she can get the job done. You know, we're just gonna. I mean, I think she can definitely outdo that walker, but we're gonna we're gonna have to find that out on the 12th. Yeah, well, it sounds like it's gonna be gonna be lots of fun. So, with your cur dog, it is 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 it treeing squirrels uh, during the day, and you're treeing coons with it at night, or are you just hunting on coons, or or how how's that working? She will tree squirrel during the day, coons at night, kill possums, run a rabbit. <laughs> she might do anything. Okay, so so she is a meat dog. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know that's uh back back in the day that's that's what people look for. They they look for a dog that was gamey that run game of of, of any kind and and run to catch it. And uh, sounds like you got yourself one there. Yeah, she 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 she's something. She's probably getting ready to get a lesson in life, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, Jason, your your Walker dog there. Um, how how did the I guess you guys hunt together quite a bit. How, how did this how did this all come about? Where y'all are gonna do this uh, this hunt? And, and I guess y'all putting a little money on the line here. Yeah. Well, too much beer and a little mouth talking, and I think mine's better than his. And- I like everybody else. We said we want to hunt each other. I hate a walker. So we decided to do a hunt against each other live and try to get some people to come do more of these live hunts and stop being camera shy and then put a friendly bet on it at the same time. Something we both know we both could afford and decided that a thousand dollars a piece would be a good thing to hunt against and probably be the only one everybody's going to see with a cur dog and a walker. Yeah. And, and, I'll, and I'll, I want to add to that too. And also, also the live, the live cuts out a whole lot of the sideways stuff. And we're not, we're not, we're not one to tolerate cheaters, no matter where they come from, whether they're here or from another state. And we're just trying to show them that, you know, you can come out here and actually hunt straight. You ain't got to be afraid of the camera or nothing else. You know, when you, when you hunt us, you, the dog's going to win. The cheating's not going to fly. If you, if you, if you going to run what you brung and if you better hope you brought enough. And that, that that goes for every state. It's not just me and him. It's anybody. I mean, it just I mean, we can we can we can get beat and shake your hand, you know. And there gonna be a bunch of crying and excuses, and we're just not, you know. Somebody's got to break the ice. I mean, 
I mean, you, you're going to see two pretty good caliber dogs go at it. And, I mean, we know we both have. We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we hunt together. It's going to be what it's going to be. But as bad as I hate to say and as bad as it tastes, he's got a he's got a good walker. I mean, it, I, it's a, I didn't think it was a, such a thing until now, but it's definitely possible because I see it all the time. And this cur, you never know. I don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. He's seen her in action. And I've seen her in action, but I'd walk behind his dog any night. So, I mean, if she trees, I have no problem going to her. So that, 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 that is a little bit of a fear in the back of my head because I know that if she's in coon, she's dangerous. And this, this cur, I mean, if she gets in coon, she show potential to be dangerous too. I mean, we just go find out. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it's a, a good thing that you're doing. It's all in a, in a spirit of fun and bringing people together and, and trying to help grow something that I, I do think is, is something good. And, you know, you touched on something there, you know, with, with the cheating and all. And, and I do know that that, that comes about, um, from time to time where you, you have a bad cast or, or, you know, whatever, uh, happens out there. Um, is it been y'all's experience that in the areas that y'all are competition hunting that, that y'all are seeing that more and more, or is it um, maybe not knowing the rules or is it just the buddy system and taking advantage of somebody that's new? Well, I'll tell you right now, more ain't been to hunts much, but me, I'm going to say you got the buddy system. I've seen that a lot. Then you got the people that don't know the rules and the guy that does know the rules too good. And he tells the other guys what the rules are. Might even say, you know, never know what he might make a rule tonight, what he does. This this live right here puts it a uh, damper on that because you're watching it. And if I said, hey, as long as I said I've seen it, I can tree and win. And, and if Morgan didn't know the rules, well, you could get up on live and be like, no, you can't. You know, you can call me out right on live. So, you know, we both got to know the rules and going at it. Like I said, Stair, she's going to be the judge for it. She knows the rules for PKC, UKC up and down. She judges the hunts, and she's learning these rules. Uh, we're going to have my daughter. She's 12, maybe 13. She's going to run the camera for us. So we're getting the youth involved. Now, as you can see, I'm already outnumbered, sort of. So if we vote, <laughs> it's already three against one. So I already know this cur dog is going to lose. Well, if it's any count, I'm not biased because I have my own dog, so I don't care about either one of them. <laughs> so so how, how did you become to to be the judge uh, between these two here is, is you just you're yeah. just there and you, you're the judge and we voted on you know, the zero for pretty much everything with these two yeah. um and i don't mind it though because like i said i i love both dogs honestly but um i'll hunt them. and and i want to touch base on the hunting stuff the last the last two two out of the last three hunts that i was in competition wise I personally got cheated. I've been cheated. Once by locals and once at the biggest hunt of my life at Homesville, Ohio, at plot days. I should have had it all won and got cheated at the tree because the judge and the dog handler were in cahoots. And I had I quit hunting UKC over it completely. I will not I will not support another hunt they have ever in my life. Um the reason being is they were they were they figured out that I was telling the truth and I still didn't get my win back. And I'm just, I, I can't, I can't hunt with an organization like that. That's why I flock to the, to the live because it ain't going to be none of that. And that's going to that, that's going to be exposed right now. And I think that's why a lot of people are hesitant about doing this because it used to be, you hunt the best dog. Now you hunt the best hunter, you know, the best, the, who knows or who can stretch the rules, who knows who, you know, you're not hunting the best dog anymore. And that, that is something that everybody runs into. How they handle it is different, but if you let the dog do the talking on live, it, it's not going to be no who did this, who did that, because it's going to be live. It ain't going to be no, it ain't going to be no time for nobody to change it. It ain't going to be no he said, she said. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. It it it, it is what it is, and I, I think that, or I think that that's why a lot of people are hesitant to do this because, you know, whether they like it or not, I have been to my share of competition, tons of squirrel hunts. And I can't say that I, that I've ever been in, but maybe one or two hunts that I think it was solid. I saw something that shouldn't have happened in every one I've ever been ever been to, really. And that's that's kind of a when you, especially when you get around people that are buddies, 
that stuff gets pushed under the rug, and, and I don't think that's the way it should be. You know, I'm not – I don't care who beats me, but you're going to beat me. You're not going to cheat me. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I definitely understand understand that. Um, my, my first PKC hunt, I, I was done wrong. Looking back now, I, I should have put my money up, got a panel, and I, I – I would have probably been fine, but, you know, being a young kid, I just didn't know any better. I think I was, I don't know, 16 or 17 whenever I was in my first PKC hunt. And now I will say I, I am a PKC hunt director for our local club. And, you know, we don't really see, see a lot of that with the guys that, that I hunt around. Most of us know each other. Um, we don't see a lot of te- uh, cheating. But one thing I, I will say that <clears throat> I think y'all touched on there was, somebody knowing the rules, you know, really good and interpreting in those rules for someone else instead of that person, you know, interpreting the rules for themselves or saying, well, hey, show me where that says that in, in that rule book, whether it's on the back of the scorecard or in the rule book. And I think that does go on some. And so then you take that for the gospel that that's supposed to be the rule. And that was never the rule to start with. They, they didn't have the right interpretation of it. Yeah, uh, it, that and that definitely happens. I mean, a lot. You know, it's easy for somebody standing there that knows the rules in and out to stretch them to somebody that doesn't really know them. I tell you what, I did have. I probably hunted thirty hunts this year or more, traveled everywhere, and every hunt, PKC to all. You hear people interpret different their own rules, way. their own way of hearing a rule. Like you might say, the rule means this. Joe says the rule means this. And here it is, my dog. And how do I'm supposed to partake of the, you know, how am I supposed to say, hey, this is what it really is, you know, and you can get done or, you know, it can be, it can go different ways. So I think the lab is going to X a lot of that stuff out. The winner's going to be seen. The cheetah's going to be exposed. And like you said, you ain't going to have a dog out here that somebody says, I give you $300 for the cash win. Well, he got five wins now. You think he's doing good, but the guy spent money on it. You ain't going to have that no more. You're going to see different change in these dogs, though. Great oh, yeah. all. I don't care from a cur dog, black and tan, to a poodle. You're going to have different changes in all these dogs because when they get live and everybody can see them, it's going to be a different show, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to separate It's gonna separate the who should and who shouldn't very quickly. You know? I think that's why you're having a hard time with people getting live because the man comes out and says, well, I treat eight tonight. Well, get on live and let's see it. But one thing about the live is it's going to help breeding, too, because if you, I, you have a male, I watch him live for the next five nights and how he does on Hunt You Show. You're not lying about the dog. I know if I want to take my female down there and breed or not. It ain't going to be no smoke and mirror. You're not going to say you treat 50 coons this week. I'm actually going to sit there and watch your video of you doing it live. And I think it's going to change a yeah, lot of breeding and a lot don't, of... Yeah, don't, t- don't tell me you got a machine. Show it to me. Show it. Even if I'm sitting in Virginia, I can sit in here on my couch and watch you in Ohio watch him work and i think we're at the capability of doing that i think we need to be watching more than live and instead of just watching a scorecard come in and i like i told jason i mean the fact of the matter is everybody everybody wants a superstar but i i I hate to burst everybody's bubble you know these local hunts i'm not gonna say there's not some good dogs that float through them but a lot of these dogs become champion local hunts and stuff and it's the same old people there hunt the same old stuff you're never going to know if you truly have a machine until you hunt against machines. And that, that's a, that's a big thing. And I, you know, I tell Jason all the time. And as I said, I am not a Walker fan, but if his dog is in Coons, we're not rich, but we both work for ourselves and we pretty much do what we want to do within reason. I will put her against any dog. I mean, ain't no, ain't no, I ain't scared. He ain't scared to lose. And I definitely ain't scared to lose. But if you bring her down here to our stomper ground, where we know we know it's plenty of coons, if you put her in them, somebody's going to show me, and that's right down to myself. I'm not 100 percent sure I can beat Jason. Matter of fact, I'm not I'm not 75 percent sure I can beat Jason and coons. But I also ain't scared to lose neither, and we just gonna have to do it because it's just it's just what's gonna have to happen. I mean, number one, and, and, and the biggest reason we're doing this is because nobody's really repping Virginia. I'm sorry. I'll be the one to say it. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anybody step up and say, Hey, you know, we're going to do this. You know, y'all have a point system. Y'all are trying to do the hunts for the Virginia state. You're trying to, you know, then you have to get a win- winner from Virginia to go to the world. 
I mean, I don't see I don't see anybody stepping up. You know, we're not big on excuses. We fight snakes like everybody else. We got alligators, dinosaurs, and bears. You know, we hunt a lot. I mean, he's either down here at the farm one or two nights a week. I'm out two, three nights a week. Sometimes in the mornings, we all fight the same stuff. But the difference is, you know, we're ready to we're ready to battle anybody at any time. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you import the dog or, or, or bring it from Sammy's house or, or whose house you bring it from. I mean, we, we will hunt you. You're going to, you're going to have to show us. It's not going to be a bunch of back and forth across the internet. I mean, we're not rich. We can't hunt for 20 grand. We can't hunt for 50 grand. I ain't saying we, we probably could figure it out, but it's kind of stupid. But I mean, we want to know who's out there because me and Jason are kind of both, in the same boat, if you got a dog that can dog us, you're going to have to come show us. And if you show us, you did us a favor. Now, we're not going to be mad. We're going to pay you, talk a little trash back and forth with you, shake your hand and send you on. But we know Eat we got to do something. Let you stay in the, at the house. Yeah, we got to do something different. And that's what I want to know. I'm not in it just to have a dog. I have a pleasure dog. He's 12. You know, the, these other dogs that are here, and the same with Jason. Jason hunts a lot of competition, a lot of it. And he's not doing that because – he wants a pleasure dog. He's doing it because he likes competition. Well, if there's dogs, if there's several dogs in Virginia that can wear Jason out, Jason needs to know that. I mean, that, that's just a fact. He need, he needs to know it. So if they're out there, I mean, we got Dex Methazone, we got Benadryl, we got everything to save him from the copperheads. We got, I mean, we got guns to kill stuff with if it gets too bad out here. But I mean, I don't I don't really go for the too hot and. Uh, you know, it's too hot. It's too many snakes. It's this. It's that. I mean, we're hunting the same conditions as everybody else. It's not like it's not like we're over here hunting in forty degree weather and you're hunting in hundred degree weather with snakes. So we got, and also if anybody out there want to hunt use, we got Cooper right here. I got a little girl, Lily, right here. They will even handle these dogs, and call them, and strike them if they want to hunt you and you. You know, you Lily hunted a whole youth hunt this year. Cooper hunted. He showed. You can look up on the Virginia State page. I mean. They're going to adult hunts and want to hunt with the adults. So if any youth, you've got somebody think they got one youth, you go on. Matter of what? fact, Cooper just bought his own dog, and he he's I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't get him added to the page. He's looking for some action with squirrels for sure. If I know there's a squirrel hunting section now, but um, you know he he's he's got him a really nice dog out of out of uh, jukebox kennels and. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm, I, it just is what it is. Um, you know, we, we're any any of us are down for action at any time, whether it be Sarah, Jason, me, Lily, Cooper. It is we, we you're not dealing with a bunch of sore losers. We want to actually see. We're going to go somewhere with it because, like I said, yeah, we want to see it happen. We want to see somebody make it. Some money, but next one, whoever wins, we're going to try on Sarah. She's got a dog named Yankee. We're going to try her mount and. So you get her live up here, so we all can just start getting some wins in Virginia. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see any other action from Virginia. I've put several posts out, you know. I offered half gas. Yeah, we've offered half gas. We, we're just trying to get people, don't get it twisted, but we're trying to bully. I mean, because we're not. We know we can be beat. We just want to see who can do it. I mean, it's not going to do nothing but help us and help them. I mean, I don't see how, I don't see how, Virginia stands a chance, you know, it, it ain't, it, it, is it just going to be me, Cooper and Lily and, you know, us yeah. with our kids, you know, against each other for the Virginia state. I mean, there's got to be somebody else in Virginia that would at least like to uh, see if they can do it. I mean, you know, I, it's for something. Or for just for a soda. I mean, we can do it for peanuts and a popsicle. I don't care. It, it just, if somebody show up, I mean, somebody has to hunt to get the, to get the wins. I mean, period. That's just what's got to happen. Yeah. I, well, and I agree. And I think what y'all are doing is a, is a good thing to try to try to promote and, and kind of push people to get involved. And, um, I, th I think what superior is doing, I think it's, um, I think it's something, something that's tried to be done in the past, but wasn't done right. And there was too much other stuff going on. And I think this is going to, going to take off and go somewhere. It's, it's already been growing and the more people that get involved, um, just like y'all are, you know, as friends and family and, you know, and, and putting it out there to people, Hey, you know, come hunt with us, call us out, whatever. And, and we'll be glad to, to, to meet up with you, hunt. I think that's going to help, uh, you know, really, really help promote superior kennel club for what it was meant to be. 
and you know kind of cut out some of the some of the drama i've watched a few of the hunts as that's well i've watched all of them really that's been on there as long as they you know kept phone service or whatever and there's been some been some really really good ones on there and i've really enjoyed i'm, I'm like y'all if if i'm not eat well even if i am out hunting i'll still click over there and and watch it while i'm hunting <clears throat> or at least you know listen to what's going on um because i think it's you know better entertainment than most stuff you can watch on tv today that's right. I mean, when you come, when they come watch me, Morgan, we're gonna try to keep it. You know, we're gonna not PG, PG thirteen. I mean, we're gonna have we're all like a little jokes here. We're gonna talk a little crap, but like I said, we're gonna we're gonna haunt it. We're gonna have fun. And now he does got the best cur dog I ever walked behind by far. For anybody who thinks they got one better, I would even put another thousand on that one. But they don't. Uh, we're gonna have fun with this now. We're not. We're gonna joke around and laugh a whole lot. We're going to be ourselves. I we're, mean, yeah, we're not we're gonna be for nobody. Yeah, we're, we're, we laugh on. He looks for a coon for my dog as much as I look for a coon for his dog. And that's why we mostly wanted to hunt each other because we know when we do hunt that we ain't cheating. The dog will decide it. Yeah, the dog. We're even more going to go sit here and talk crap to each other and let the dog decide who wins. Other than that, that's what happens at the end of the day. It ain't going to be who struck and who treed. It's who treed the most coons. And that's going to be the one. You know, last time out, two times out with her, I took her the other night by myself. Me and Sarah did, and Judy, uh, she split tree twice on the other dogs and held the pressure. I don't know another cur that would do that, but she had to coon both times. Like I said, that's why it's going to be interesting because we had to coon and she had to coon at the same time. So you're talking both of us getting plussed up for the same amount all the way through. So it's going to be a battle for 90 minutes. And, it, and, it, and it's going to be fun. I mean, we, we're open to anybody. I have, I, I'm very blessed down here. I've got a lot of place to hunt and you know we have we have the game i mean it, it's here you know and and we've we've offered i mean jason has opened his doors to people to stay at his place you know he's offered half the gas money for people to come i mean we we, we have done everything in our power keeping it inside of pg to get people to raise their hand and you know, we I, I spoke with a fellow the other night. I ain't calling no names out, but he's supposed to have a really, really good dog. And I mean a really good one. And I talked to him for 45 minutes, and Jason has spoke to him too. And, and I just told him, I said, look, man, I said, I want to hunt you. And, 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 and theoretically, he's probably got a dog that could beat me or beat the brakes off me, maybe, if he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But he just said straight up, he said, man, he said, I'm back and forth a lot. And he said, but I, we will get together and we will hunt. You're welcome to come down here and hunt your squirrel dogs. You know, you're welcome to do whatever. But I told him, I said, man, if, if you have a dog like that, I want to see it. Cause then I know where I got to be. You know, it, it, that's the way I look at it. Most people scared to death, you know, scared to death. Oh my God, he's going to embarrass me. I ain't going to tell. They find every thing they can think of just not to hunt. I'm the exact opposite. I want to know, show me. Because then I know I got to do something different, well, and that 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 and if I'm going to chase, I I, I want to chase a world core hunt this year. That's what that's what I that's what my goal is. I have a lot of young prospects coming along, and you know we have spent the money to get there and doing the work to get there. We're doing a little bit of both, and I need to know, I need to know what I got. You know I I don't want to. That's why I'm hunting Jason. Jason Jason's dog is, and I don't want to keep harping on this, but I'm gonna tell you if she's in Coons you will have a hard time with her, you know, and, and that's just what it is. I don't care. I don't walk to the tree too many times with her. I mean, it, it's, it's just not, it, it chances are that if she's in coons, you will have a long night and and that's okay. That, 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 that's what I need to know because it is what it is. I mean, we might go out there and either one of them is like a complete fool, but I can promise you they're dogs. When they're dogs. They can do that. But if you catch them both on a good night, you better have brought something good, I can tell you. And 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 if it's a bad night, you could beat them with a a boxer or a Yankee or something of that nature. You'll figure out who Yankee is later. Yeah. <laughs> well, <My dog>. but, <laughs> but, boxer. but like I said, I mean, you know, you this y'all y'all do have a good thing going. I just would like to see more participation. I touched on that on a couple posts on the page, and I don't think it went over really well. But I meant what I said. I mean. I, I, the, the excuses, the excuses are kind of, are kind of 
me points to us because we're fighting the same thing that somebody else's excuse. And we do it all the time. Sweat pouring, dogs hot, walking them in the creek, fighting snakes. I mean, I, I just, I, you know, I, I, I'm not real big on the excuses. You know, I see too many people jumping and biting. I do this, I'll do that. Wait to fall, wait to fall, wait to fall. Well, the difference in this two dogs are is you have to wait to fall. I will bet you now. And we got, and I mean, you can't say much. We got women, children, like the post, this fight's supposed to be about. Yeah. They're walking every step with us. Every step. So. From six, year, mean, from Sarah, six years old and up. Sarah's having 30 competitions this year already by herself. She's handles the dog. If I hunt tonight, I do not hunt her dog. I don't touch her dog. Same with these kids. We do not hunt them. We don't touch them. The kids either hunt them, make them what they are, and not show up. That's how I we treat these kids, and they, you know, they gotta. We sit there and help them, but if they're not gonna take their dog out the kennel, why should I? So we're teaching them that part too. But they're out here right now, walking, beating the ticks, mosquitoes, whatever we fall into. Us. Bell hornet. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd rather really people talk about alligators. I'd rather deal with an alligator than a bell hornet. If anybody knows what a bell hornet is, you you know when the lights, when a man yells lights off. Had a man from Florida show up when we he tried a dog out. When everybody yelled lights off, he didn't know what we said. We all turned the lights off and he got stung twice. He learned his lesson real quick yeah. about what meant lights off in Virginia. And he said he'd take the gators anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Them things hit like a gator. Just come from the sky like a, a helicopter. <laughs> but so people need to get out and get to hunt. Hey, I got the land, I got the club, I got everything. I like to see everybody come up here and get to hunting, even if it's just like I said. I will pay for the food, the gas, and everything. We'll throw a club hunt. I got enough land between me and Morgan to probably have three or four hunts at one time. And, We'd like to see this club grow out. And I used and I used to run the Virginia WTDA TDA hunts too. So you know we we have a we have a real good background on organizing this stuff. You know Jason has actually I'm not in a club now. Jason actually is in a club, the the local club, which is about ten minutes away. Um, you know we can have we can we can pretty much accommodate anybody you know we just gotta we just gotta know i i, I don't we're, we're trying we're all we're what we're basically doing is is we're just trying to let people know it's okay you know you can you can go out here and do this and you know nobody's gonna look down on you and you know everybody's gonna have fun because i promise you my dog may not bark on the 12th she may get the brakes beat off her but i also promise you that nobody better call me out on the following evening Yep. Because they are going to get accepted right then and there. Because, I mean, every every dog, uh, we're not the people that says our dogs don't ever have a bad night. That's that's not the case. Everybody's dog has a bad night. Everybody's dog does stupid stuff. A dog will call you a liar in a heartbeat. You know, we fight the same thing as everybody else. Nothing nothing is sugar-coated. Nobody turns the temperature down for us. Nobody turns it up. We hunt in the rain. We hunt in the snow. I don't hunt it in ice. I don't jumped in frozen rivers before saving dogs where the coons got on the head. I mean, it, it it is it is real life. I mean, we're 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 just trying to show them that hey, you know, if you got a coon dog, bring him on out. I mean, it's it's nothing. Not what's worse can happen. You get beat. I mean, you lost a pack of peanuts and a popsicle. That's right. And I like to say that's why I offer to pay half gas for some of these guys. I know gas is expensive these days. If you come to my land, I don't. We're not hunting buckets, but I got plenty of land, plenty of coons. If it costs you two hundred dollars, I can give you a hundred just for gas. I think that's fair. Guys, be like if I came to your house. You know, but I want the difference is I know we got coons and I want to see your dog at its best. Like I want to see my dog at its best and my dog can do it if we got coons. And then what I'm saying is coons, anybody hunts in Virginia, I have some buddies up there in Whitehall area. They told us when they hunt with us, I ain't seen a coon in two weeks. Well, down here, if I don't see a coon, if I see one coon tonight, I had a bad night. If I see seven, we had a good night. Unless we decide to kill. If we decide to kill, you may, we may very well wipe them out. (laughs) <laughs> but we, we let a lot of them walk. <laughs> yeah. What you kill, you don't chase. But you know, it ain't this ain't a a race of a of a dog hunt. You know, we're hunting walkers. He's hunting curs. Morgan is a plot man. I just hard pill pill to swallow. I just got a blue dog in the kennel. But we're gonna try to raise him with the uh, walkers. Try to get some traits off of it. But it just ain't about what color dog. It's about what the dog does. And that's where this live is gonna tell. The, uh, it's gonna it's gonna separate the coon dog from a not so coon dog. Yep, and it, it ain't gonna be breed. It ain't gonna be nothing. It's gonna be what the dog is. What the dog is. I seen some dogs in some of these hunts. 
that I said should have won. And if you was a live feed, they would have won just because of the stretching, the stretching of the rules. And this right here live is going to nip all that in the butt real quick. And I, and I don't look, I don't look for this to grow very fast. I really don't because people know that people know that, the Ted Live is going to cut a whole lot of. It's easy to be a superstar when nobody saw it, you know. And 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 that's a fact. That that is just a fact. You can you can you can bend it. You can turn it around. You can say what if. But the fact of the matter is, a whole lot of superstars have come and gone because nobody could prove otherwise. And it's even worse when you got a bunch of buddies that hunt together or, or a clique that hunts together because. Anything can happen, and when you got five of them saying this happened, and the one that's telling the truth saying that happened, I'm sorry, but majority rules, especially when they, they answer to the click, and and that that's just a fact. That is something that happens. So this live is gonna cut all that out, and I think people should jump on board because you hear so many people say, "I'm sick of the cheating. I'm sick of the cheating." Well, if you're sick of the cheating, support something that won't allow it because this will not allow it. Y'all y'all cut your fan base in less than half from this live. And that that's just a fact, you know. But if you if you look at like the MSD and you know places like that, you know, big time hunters like Marty Munns and people of that nature, you know, they're hunting for this, you know, these big these big wages. I mean, it's not it's not a trophy and a plaque. It's you know, it's real life stuff. And every single one of the cast are live. Somebody's walking along live that ain't hunting, and never nobody ever argues, nobody ever fights. There's always a winner. But there's a certain group of people that doesn't, and I, and I feel like this is the way this is going to end up. You just have to, people have to understand, look, don't worry about, you, you don't have to worry about going out there and somebody stretching you now. That's not, that's not, that can't happen. If the people that are moderating this, would whether it be Todd or who it is, you know, he seems like a pretty straightforward guy to me. If the, If they see, if they see this happen, it doesn't matter what me and Jason say. You know, if me and Jason stay at the end, Jason won or, you know, Jason won by scorecard and, and they saw a straight out cheat in it that would have changed the whole ball game. They're supposed to they're supposed to declare who the winner was. Me and Jason can hunt our way. And, you know, maybe I'm the guy that wouldn't say nothing. Jason pulled something slick or I pulled something slick and Jason be the other guy. And he's like, oh, I just ain't going to say nothing. Well, whoever's moderating this stuff and whoever's looking back through it is supposed to catch that right or wrong. Yeah, I, and I, I agree with you there. And one thing that you touched on there with the, the no arguing and stuff like that with, from, from my personal experience, <clears throat> the the more that's at stake, uh, I guess you would say, um, whether it be money or, or, or whatever, it seems like there is less argument, less drama uh, going on. seems like guys are, are there to hunt. You know, they're, they're serious about it and it is what it is. They, they just call the dog for what, what it is and, and good, bad or ugly and move on. So, and I think that's one of the things that I, I do like about, uh, this with superior is, um, I think you, you see not only more of that, but you just see guys out having a good time with their buddies, uh, whether they're putting a wager on it, like you guys are, or whether they're just out there for an RC Cola and a moon pie, what, whatever. You just see them guys out there having a good time. I watched a, a hunt with uh, some young, younger guys in Tennessee here a week or two ago, and and man, they were they were just funny to watch. They, they were out there having a good time, and and it was just it was a, a good good time to watch, and and I really enjoyed seeing the the youth out there having having a good time. Well, that's probably what you're going to see with us because we'll probably. Might be a little confusion, but you know it ain't gonna just be. We'll probably have two or three youths with us. Like I said, Sarah, Lady Hunter, and then me and Morgan. We're gonna try to keep it, and you know, we won't have a lot of crap talking. I mean, that's just what it's gonna be. Most the fun out of it. Cause our PKC hunt, us PKC hunters, we crap talk, but at the end of the day, we know who the winner is. There ain't gonna be nobody getting mad. Best is best, and the winner's gonna win. And we're going away from here with a good time. Yeah, well, and that's that's what it's about. Number one is you got to have fun. You got you you got to be a good loser because you ain't gonna win them all, and somebody gonna lose when you show up. So that that's just all there is to it. But um, before we wrap it up here, um, being Sarah's there and she's gonna judge, 
I I want to first hear her prediction uh, of the hunt. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you put on a spot right here because no, I really don't. She might have had Oakley at nine weeks old, but then she seen Judy out here <laughs> and and, and, and got... Tree twice. So this right here now, you got her. You didn't get us sweating on this conversation, but you might have her. I I know, tell us what you think. Yeah, Sarah. Sarah. Tell us what you think. You like a little sweat out of. You live with him. You don't live with me. You Keep it. Ask me any questions. No, um, I'm not biased. We have had Oak since she was. Like nine weeks old, so she's best. Uh, but Judy's actually a decent little dog. Morgan needs more confidence in his dog because I think she's a really decent dog. Ooh, um, it's gonna be a close one, honestly, because they're both. Oakley is very small. She's very fast, but so is Judy, and they're both really independent dogs. So I'll be interested to see how that goes. Honestly, I'm not sure. She's dodging the question. I think it's going to be a lot of, to be honest, in my opinion tonight, it's going to be, if the coons are walking hard and checking trees, I think it's going to be a hard night. I think it's going to be a, y'all are going to see on this page what way they do. I think it's going to be a lot of split tree. And then what I'm saying it's is I, I, you're going to see a lot of 50, 60, not like 100 y'all split trees. I'm talking, She's gonna think A and she's gonna think B, and you're gonna see the dogs almost in the same camera. Yeah, and the same, and they're gonna pick different trees is where they've been hunting, kinda. On the around here, they've been a lot of uh, you know, togetherness. They've been having coons in each tree with leaves on. We have had trees where one ain't had it, but you can't beat the dog for it, but because you can't, it's so hard to see. We walked in one other night with the uh. With Judy and she couldn't. We couldn't find the coon at all. Went to our dogs, found the coon. Sarah was sitting over there about eighty yards. She said, "Look at this." I had to go up on a hill. Fifteen and minutes back. later, she she locked up on a hill, and the coon was in the tree Judy had. It was at the very tippy top so, of the tree, but there were so many leaves you almost got, couldn't see it. So you couldn't beat the dog for it. I think you all gonna see a lot of split train going on, and the dogs gonna have to make their own decision. There ain't going to be much meat to in this operation. Personally, no, the way no, that a walker and a cur hunt are totally opposite things. They so. might call us a liar, but I don't think you're going to see a bunch of dogs on the same tree. Uh -uh. You might see a tree like that, but you're not going to see much of it, I don't think. So I think this is going to be an interesting hunt. I think a lot of people should tune in for it. Like I said, I hope they say that I suck and they call me out the night before because night, next night because – the wheels turn on this truck, and wheel will travel anyway. Hey, can I say one thing that you promise you won't edit out? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we are calling anybody in Virginia out. Oh, my God. Period. You already said that. No, I just want to make it plain and clear. Well, Any dog. Show us. Well, there, show us. There you go. If you live live in Virginia, get up with these guys and, and – uh, Take them up on their offer hunt. I mean, they're they're offering to pay half the gas and put you up in a place to to spend the night. And I, I think what y'all are trying to do to help help this grow and get people involved is a is a really really good thing. I'm I'm looking forward to to the twelfth August the twelfth is when this is going to go down. And um, especially because cur dogs always intrigue me. Um, I I, uh, I always enjoy. Um, watching watching those i've never owned one um I, I guess i do now it just ain't here yet because i won one in a raffle but um i've never uh -huh. i've never owned one and, I, and i've always thought it'd be pretty cool to have one that you could treat squirrels consistently during the day and coons at night and um and, and then i know hounds operate you know completely different than than, than what a cur dog does so <laughs> I, I think it's going to be be a great thing it's going to be be a, a great uh promotion for this and uh and i'm looking forward to some action and um hopefully the best dog comes out as the winner and sounds like to me is going to be whoever trees last with the coon in the tree is going to be the winner if if they're split tree and one one right after another that no further apart than that sounds like whoever gets treed last with time left on the clock is going to be the winner yeah well we go. We're gonna see what happens, and it's approaching fast, man. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put on the best show we can, and hopefully the dogs will put on the show because we always put on the show. We can put on a good show if the dogs gonna do nothing. Yeah. So as we're recording this, this podcast will release on August the fourth, and not that weekend, but the following weekend will be when this hunt is gonna take place. So. Um, if you're listening to this on the 4th and you've not 
signed up with Superior Kennel Club. Go over to their Facebook page. They have a pub public Facebook page. You can get information there, figure out how you got to get signed up so you can watch this hunt. Uh, go down live August the 12th in Virginia. And if you're out there in Virginia, you heard them. They, they're calling you out. So you, you ain't got no excuse, but either either show up or or don't get on there talking trash one of the two because uh, they're, they're calling you out and they're, they're offering to pay half your gas and put you up. And I'm looking forward to, to this hunt and a lot more coming up. Uh, guys, we've been at about 45 minutes. If none of y'all got anything else to add, I think we'll we'll get close to shutting it down here. Is anybody y'all like to thank or, or anything, else, anything else you'd like to say? No, I think I think that's about it, man. I appreciate all y'all's help. And y'all watch this podcast now. You gotta talk a little crap because you are a coon hunter. If you don't talk crap, you ain't a coon hunter because we all know how that goes. Put your vote up, cur dog, walker dog. Come on, let's see it. Now, I want to see if which one y'all say is going to win before we start this night out. Yeah, I'm putting it. I'm putting this on Todd. Yeah. Todd, we wanna we wanna see. We want you to put it up like today. So this fella here is gonna uh, get back in touch with you. And he's gonna tell you today that we want to see this. Uh, we want to see this. Um, <laughs> like it, hey, like it for a walker dog, her harder for a car, cur dog. Let's see who y'all think's really gonna win this. Yeah, before, but I wanted to see this before the fourth. Before the fourth, I want to see who, or even the fourth out. I want to see before the hunt which dog y'all think is gonna win. Who got the biggest fan base? Yeah, that's what we want to know. Is it the definitely walkers? It's probably definitely the walkers, but that's okay. I know Todd's gonna like mine. <laughs> well i think that's a good idea and i will get a hold of todd and we'll you know, this, they'll hear all this after the fact and i'll get a hold of todd we'll see what we got to do to uh to get a poll put up on the uh public uh superior kennel club page yeah, or, like or the private who votes for what? i mean people don't like to comment much because they're a little timid but i love to see some i like for which one y'all think are going to win before this hunt comes on so you know now we're gonna put on a show for y'all y'all yeah. get the poll up we want to see that for us but I want to. We we go we go do the best we can to to pull all the stops out for everybody and 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 just let them know that you know here it is here here's what we hunt and this is what we called you out with you know maybe it'll help them the way it helps us you know if they see it and they're like oh my god you know they know they did something wrong if they see it like man I could stomp him well come show us yeah well guys again I'm I'm excited I'll get with Todd we'll get a poll put up. Uh, I look forward to watching this on the 12th. I thank y'all for taking your time today uh, to be on the Coonhound Collective podcast and let's talk and talk about this and and uh, what y'all are trying to do there. And uh, I uh, I appreciate y'all taking your time out on a Sunday afternoon to to get this done. And we'll get that poll up and we'll we'll see who has the bigger fan base and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens Adam, on the 12th. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Y'all have a good day. Thank y'all. The judge is biased. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thanks guys for listening to the coonhound collective podcast today we really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to listen to the podcast if you don't mind head over to facebook and give us a like and head over to instagram and give us a follow it's both at the coonhound collective also if you would like to reach us here at the coonhound collective you can reach us at the coonhound collective at gmail.com if there's someone that you would like to hear on the podcast or a product that you would like to here talked about, please send it to the Coonhound Collective at gmail.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.